Hey everybody, this is the Carney wall display. You've seen it a million times in my videos. Hopefully you know that I typically use it as the background for the videos and update it with Hot Wheels car culture as soon as a new assortment is released. We're, we're right now at Cargo Carriers, which is coming very, very soon. And then on top of that, I have some of the current Super Treasure Hunts, well, everyone so far that's been released. And then on top of that, an, ar an array of convention and RLC models, some of the more valuable models in my collection and some of the ones that I enjoy looking at, like for example, the Candy Striper Gasser or Rio Asada's Honda S2000 from convention a couple years ago, another convention Gasser, Greenwood, which is an all-time favorite, whole lot of Datsuns, including the RLC Brie and the Vintage Racing Brie. Anyway, whole lot of cool cars. Right on the very top, I have my Toy Fair models from the 2018 K for Racer, BMW, Porsche, cool combi, and seven, is that the 69 Camaro, Copo Camaro, Corvette, sorry. But I'm bringing your attention to this one because it just entered the $1,000 club. Two auctions on eBay this week, both ending over $1,000 on this gold Porsche 934 Turbo. What do you think, RSR? Is anything worth $1,000? I don't know how many models of mine have achieved that, and I don't know if it'll continue to stay at that price or even go even higher. But let's talk about Toy Fair models. I want to get your feedback on whether that model deserves to be $1,000. Would you pay $1,000 for it? My guess is most of you won't. Let's break into the box and show my Toy Fair models. Okay, this is what a $1,000 Hot Wheels car looks like, at least according to the prices paid for it on eBay in the last week. It's only a couple of years old. It was only released at Toy Fair, which means it wasn't made available to the public. It does have a plastic base, so it's not premium from that perspective, but with the real riders and that incredibly beautiful paint. This Porsche has just skyrocketed in value because it's just people want it. I've talked about Toy Fair models. They are only available to retailers who attend Toy Fair. They are not available to the public. That obviously makes them a lot more valuable than most Hot Wheels in general. So you have to pay for them if you want to get them. And the only way that us collectors are going to get one, or we collectors, is by going to eBay or some other retailer like that, online retailer, and snagging one. That's what I did with this one. And that's what I've done with most of my Toy Fair models I just pay for them. I take the risk. Sometimes the value goes down over time. Sometimes it goes up. In this case, it's gone way up. I paid $120 for it. I was taking that risk, and I'm glad I did. Mattel goes all out on these. That's what makes them special. But the Porsche has just kind of taken on a life of its own. It's a beauty. I'm glad I have it. But is it a $1,000 Hot Wheels? I don't know. Give me your thoughts down below. Wait for the showcase after this. Thanks, everyone. Bye.